Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to fix. So this is a nice one. Yeah, so check here. i5 9 gen and uh, NVIDIA graphics. Mm -hmm. It's an Asus ROG. The problem with this one, the problem with this one is dead. Okay, so I have the customer charger. The bad part, I don't have the adapter to connect the laptop to my power supply. So uh, let's open the laptop first and uh, check to see what's going on inside. Uh, they said the laptop is dead. Okay, so let me open this quickly. So, oh, we have some. Uh, what is this? Uh, the battery is still plugged in. That's nice. So actually, this board has the Wi-Fi inbuilt on the motherboard. I never fixed this model. Yeah, someone opened it. I never seen this model before. Let's disconnect the battery. So what do we check first? Look, that there is a nice print on the on the chipset. What do we check first? First, we are checking the main power rail. How we are checking the main power rail? We need some capacitor. How about this one? Wow, this is not a good start. This is not a good start. I have like zero ohms capacitor. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't check the right capacitor. Let's check another capacitor. This one. Zero ohms. So the main power rail is shorted. So we diagnose the laptop in the first seconds. Now, like usual, if the customer is lucky, it's a capacitor. But based on the fact already someone checked this, uh, check this laptop, I don't think the customer is lucky. I don't think. If we have a shorted MOSFET on the GPU, the laptop, it will still work after we are removing the short, obviously. It will still work with the Intel uh, graphics. If it's a shorted MOSFET on the CPU, it's, you know, bye-bye. We can't fix it. But we're going to find out soon. Okay, so we took out the heatsink. No one changed the thermal paste. Okay. So... You have a bunch of MOSFETs here. So those capacitors are on the main power rail? Hmm? That's the question. Yeah, they are. They are. So let's get the thermal camera. Now is the moment of truth. Let's find out what is wrong with this laptop. Let me grab the power supply. So we need ground. Low voltage. Yeah, we should be fine. We're like 0 0.8, should be fine. A little bit of current. We're going to see now the resistance of the short, yeah? Coming with current. There's no ground. Wait, so this is no ground? It's no ground. Okay, let me find a different ground. So this ground? Yeah. Okay, so the resistance of the short is very low, which is a good sign. I mean, can be a capacitor. Okay, let's raise the current. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Let's keep the heat low because we can uh, we can use the thermal camera to see the heat. So the CPU, the CPU is looking okay. Okay. The GPU, the GPU is looking fine, but the CPU, huh? Something else. Lol. Why my probe is getting the hot? Check that. Check that, check that, there, there is the hot area, you can see?
So what is their heart? Here. I'm confused because the whole area is hot. I think it's because of my ground. Let's try a different ground. And let's try to come with current on a different place. Yeah, like here, for example. Nothing. No, it's no ground. Okay, let's get the ground from somewhere else from the USB. USB, yeah, USB are fine. This capacitor is 0 0.02, 0 0.05. Yeah, let's see now. And still that area is getting hot. But the, you see the way how the heat is spread, it, I don't think it's on this side of the board. You can see. If it will be on this side of the board, it will be like a spot. So let's take the board out and have a look on the other side of the board. But this is a good sign. Yeah, this is a very good sign. Very, very good. So uh, let me take the board out quickly. Okay, so we took the board out. Okay, that's a bad sign. I take my words back. I didn't know actually our most is behind of the board. That's crazy. I didn't expect MOSFETs on the other side of the board. So I take my words back. It is bad. It is bad. No, actually, it's not bad. Why is it not bad? Because you didn't see the heat on the CPU or GPU. So how this is looking for you? Hmm? This is a nice design. So check here. You have the charging port. You have plus, yeah? Then you have an inductor. Then you have the first MOSFET. Then you have the second MOSFET. And then you have the current sensor. And from here, you have your main power rail. It is such a nice and simple design. Now, this is a good sign. Okay. So, can we bet? Yeah. So, I will put all my money before we are checking. Before we are checking, I will put all my money on that capacitor. Hmm? What do you think about this capacitor? I mean, this has a crack there. It's not a hair, it's a crack. Huh? It's a hair? It is a hair, but it's cracked. Check there. You can see? I mean, it has a spot on it. Huh? So it's even point to check with the thermal camera on this. Uh, huh? It's any point to check with the thermal camera? For me, it looks like a faulty capacitor and the doji manufacturer, he didn't fit the other two. <laughs> so check here. Yeah, so those two are missing. Why they didn't fit more capacitors here? <laughs> and he says, so, you know, sorry, is, okay, sorry is dodgy because you're remo removing one. But if the manufacturer is removing two capacitors, oh, it's cool. He, they, they are pro, you know, yeah, they know what they are doing. Okay, let's check together one more time. So we have the power supply. Yeah, we have ground. Let me grab the thermal camera. So we are coming with a plus where on the main power rail, right? Yeah, here. And it's taking 1.6 amps. And check there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see clearly that capacitor is gone. Yeah. So without power and with power. You can see it? Yeah. So that capacitor is gone. So if I'm removing a capacitor, there will be left only one capacitor. Because the doji manufacturer, he didn't fit the capacitor. Check here. So two are missing here, and two are missing here. You see? You see the point I'm trying to make? Okay, let's remove that capacitor. Great, a little bit of flux, but just a little bit. Yeah, that's enough.
So we removed the capacitor. Let me try to find another one. You found it, found it, found it. That's a nice capacitor. Yeah, I know, I know, I need another tweezer, I know that, I know. Yeah. So we took the capacitor from here. Now moving the capacitor. Now moving the capacitor here. Looking good? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Fantastic. Now all we have to do is to check if the main power rail is shorted. And no, it's not shorted. So we can put back the motherboard. And here is dust. We can put back the motherboard and uh, let's test it. Okay, so we put a few screws back. We have to replace the thermal paste anyway. So, let me clean it before we are testing, yeah? Before we are testing. Yeah, we have to replace this thermal paste. Good. So it is clean, right? Yeah. Let's use a thermal pad over the CPU. Good. Let me grab the, the customer charger. Good. So we have the customer charger. Perfect. Let's plug the charger. Nothing blow up. And the laptop is coming on. Pressing the power. No, the laptop is on. The laptop is on. Lol, I got so scared. This, 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 this is sick, you know, the, the, the noise. The laptop started and make some weird noise. Okay, and it's loading the windows. Well, that's, I got so scared. It's making that sound like an exploding capacitor. You heard the sound? And it's not the first time. You remember that Acer Predator? On well, the same way, I got scared. That's crazy. Yeah. It's working great, fantastic. Okay? Wow. wow. <laughs> if, if, if I would be to have a heart, heart attack, it would be from a startup noise of a computer. But it makes the same, exactly the same noise, like an elect electrolytic capacitor, which it's exploding. You know that moment when, you know, the first... <laughs> Yes, actually, it's not exploding, it's releasing the gases quickly. That's crazy. Anyway, this is, this is, this is a very lucky customer. I mean, this repair can, uh, can end on a, you know, on many other different ways. So, uh, we saved the laptop. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Let's use the the thermal uh, grizzly croconaut. It's a very good thermal paste. Perfect. 
perfect. It is perfect or not? Huh? The heat sink, the heat sink it is clean, yes, so probably someone clean it. Good. Now the screws. Now all good, we plug the battery, let's plug the charger. Let's check if the battery is charging. Let's see. But the battery. 12.070345 yeah, it's charging fine, so the voltage is going up. That's crazy, that's sick. That's, that, that's the second time when it's happening. I can't believe. <laughs> Definitely, I will not buy a laptop like this. Yeah, let me shut it down. Yeah, it's off. Okay, all good. So if you have uh, this model, you can be lucky to be at that capacitor instead of at that MOSFET, like on this case. Okay, yeah, we, we, we help the customer, so I'm happy with this repair. So I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.